How close are we to nuclear war? Rishi Sunak warned that the world is closer to a dangerous nuclear escalation than at any point since the Cuban Missile Crisis. From Russia's new offensive in Kharkiv, northeastern Ukraine, to Israel's assault on Palestine and China, contemplating on following the Kremlin's example in Taiwan, the danger of nuclear war is as immediate as ever. In a speech on Monday, the Prime Minister prepared the nation for what it should expect. Refusing to set a date for a general election, he said, more will change in the next five years than the last 30. I'm convinced that the next few years will be some of the most dangerous, yet the most transformational, that our country has ever known. The PM warned that the dangers that threaten our country are real, and they are increasing in number amid wars in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Taking aim at Vladimir Putin, Sunak accused the president of recklessness that is pushing the world closer to a nuclear escalation. Will the UK go to war with Russia? Russia's war in Ukraine is fast approaching its 700th day with its two-year anniversary taking place on the 24th of February. While Ukraine's army regained some territory in recent counter-offensives, the situation on the ground has remained much the same since Vladimir Putin's invasion. The Russian president plans to boost his country's military with an additional 170,000 troops, according to reports, signaling Russia's commitment to step up the conflict. A leaked document from the German Ministry of Defense earlier this week laid out Russia's plan to launch a spring offensive in Ukraine in February. The report also warned that Russia could launch covert attacks on NATO territory as early as July this year. There are already signs that Russia is prepared to breach NATO borders. In December, a Russian drone crater was discovered in a Romanian village. A Russian assault on a NATO member could trigger Article 5 of the NATO Treaty, which means the country under attack would be entitled to help from other countries in the alliance. The treaty says that member states would be required to take such action as it deems necessary, including the use of armed forces. In this situation, the UK and the other NATO members would not be obliged to declare war on Russia, although it remains a possibility. It's likely that the UK would at least deploy troops alongside other NATO countries in such a scenario Ukraine is not a member of NATO, which is why the UK did not go to war with Russia following the 2022 invasion. The UK has pledged almost £12 billion in support to Ukraine, as well as supplying tanks and strike missiles and providing training to Ukrainian troops. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak recently warned that if Putin wins in Ukraine, he will not stop there. That is why Ukraine's security is our security. He added elsewhere, fears of a war with Russia are growing. Sweden's civil defense minister, Karl Oskar Bolin, in January, told citizens to consider joining a voluntary defense organization as he warned that the risk of war was greater than at any time since World War II. Donald Trump, who is currently leading the race to become the Republican's presidential nominee ahead of the US election in November, allegedly said he would not help the European Union if it came under attack. What's going on in the Middle East? And could it escalate? International attention has been fixed on the Middle East since Hamas's attack on Israel on the 7th of October and Israel's resulting bombardment of the Gaza Strip. In response, the Houthis, a political militant group who control much of northern Yemen, kicked off a targeted campaign of drone and missile attacks on commercial ships in the Red Sea. The group said they are targeting Israeli-linked vessels in support of the Palestinian people. Almost two months into the Houthi assaults, the UK and US launched military strikes on rebel targets on January 11. Logistical hubs, air defense systems, and weapon storage locations were hit by airstrikes, according to officials. Corey Ranslam, CEO of Maritime Intelligence Company, 
Dryad Global told Metro So UK that clashes between the US and the Houthis could continue in the coming weeks. The US has put together the coalition Prosperity Guardian to counter the attacks within this region. The US Coast Guard veteran said, this operation involves a number of countries and the priority is to provide air cover for commercial vessels operating within this region. US President Joe Biden warned that the US could retaliate further, saying, we will make sure that we respond to the Houthis if they continue this outrageous behavior along with our allies. Former President Donald Trump, meanwhile, has warned that the US stands on the brink of Wadiuru after three American soldiers were killed in a drone strike in Jordan. Republican US senators have been piling pressure on Joe Biden in the wake with one calling for devastating retaliation across the Middle East. Is the UK prepared for war? The UK spends around 50 pounds billion a year on defense. Earlier this week, the Ministry of Defence announced that 20,000 troops from the Royal Navy, the British Army and the Royal Air Force will be deployed across Europe in the first half of 2024. It is one of the largest NATO deployments since the Cold War. Defence Secretary Grant Shapps announced that the government will spend around £13 billion on next-generation dreadnought submarines, which carry Trident nuclear missiles. If we are to defend our homeland, we must ensure our entire defence ecosystem is ready, Shapps said. Rishi Sunak added, in dangerous times, we are investing in defense, hardening our critical infrastructure and building our alliances. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. And please don't forget like, share and comment.